forgetting them on the site, please. <laughs> now, Van Helsing will be here very shortly, and I have prepared some questions for you to ask him to make him feel at home, but I am going to need some volunteers to ask them. So who would like to ask the questions? Oh, yes. yes. Well, you, you over there, with an enormous amount of noise, yeah. clapping and cheering, and, as they used to say in Victorian times, get ready to give it up big style <laughs> for <laughs> Professor Van Helsing! <laughs> I'm very honoured to be here. Now, please raise your hands if you know of a creature that bites to infect another. Just the children. <laughs> <laughs> what about a creature that bites to kill its prey? There must be more than that. Come on, it has fangs, people. Come on, it has fangs. <laughs> <laughs> what about a creature that drinks blood? A bat. Absolutely. Now, what I am to tell you is shocking, terrifying, yet it is, I regret to say, true. There lives in this world of living, breathing men and women a creature that is dead, yet still lives. Oh. Oh. Mm. Wait, getting up. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> to a vampire. When it bites, it leaves infection behind, turning its victim into a blood-sucking monster like itself. It knows no fear. It knows no mercy. It only brings misery oh. and death. Oh. Uh, Professor, huh? surely such a thing as this cannot possibly exist. I mean, where is your proof? Ah, friend Jack, I have trained you well. Always proof. So, throughout the history of man, from all the four corners of the world, come strange stories. In ancient Rome, a blood-sucking monster. In China, a forest man with fangs. In Scotland, a cannibal family. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> and in the Carpathians, a cursed creature, the vampire. Oh, the, vampire. the Carpathian of Eastern Europe? Yes, my friend, the very same. Oh, well, well, I have a friend who's going on a business trip there. His name is Jonathan Harker. He looks very similar to me. <laughs> <laughs> you think he'll be all right? I'm sure you'll be fine, your friend. This vampire infection is spreading, and only a scientific mind and a brave heart can stop it. That stopped it must be. Perhaps you think I am a madman? Yeah. It was a rhetorical question. You can ask what you like. The truth is out there. Uh, well, we do have some questions in the audience, actually. So have a look at your sheet. Uh, who has question number one? Who has question number one? It's written on a sheet. It's got question one written on it in words. Yes, you have the face. Chief. 
a sharp and his nails. Tonight, he can change his shape to wolf or bat or dog. And when he drinks blood, he gains the strength of, of 10 or 20 men. It's incredible. Uh, Where's question two? Question two. But you with the face, yes? Yeah? ending up in the Carpathian Mountains. Oh. I see some people have been. <laughs> it's not very interesting, although I have staying at a castle, which should be good. Wish me luck. <laughs> Thanks, eventually. Hello, bye. Good luck! So, this appears to be the friend of our doctor, Mr. Jonathan Hart, who travels to the Carpathians. Remember what I told you? Follow this man at all times. Try to be invisible so he can't see. <laughs> oh, just follow him, follow him! Like me! Uh, yeah. Sit down there so people at the back can see. Right to the front of you, Stu. 
There's also some room to stand along the side just here. <laughs> I shall write to you as often as I can, and I might even bring you back a surprise. Good. Farewell, my love. Farewell. Yeah. <laughs> 
Welcome to the Carpathian. Oh, Carpathian. Oh. I am anxiously oh. expecting you. Oh. Sleep well. For in a few hours, I will send my carriage to bring you to me. <coughs> I trust you will enjoy your day. Oh, lovely. Tell me, do you know this tracker? <laughs> Please stop speaking his name. He's not for us. Darling, 
Mina. We have at last arrived at Castle Dracula after a most peculiar journey. As we travelled through the forest, we were followed by a pack of wolves <laughs> whose howling still haunts me. <laughs> Some of them no characters from The Simpsons. Our coachman did not speak a single word to me the entire way. He simply showed me to my room, which is, uh, well, it's very old-fashioned and somewhat overcrowded. <laughs> but before I could thank him, he vanished. It must be nearly midnight, I think, and I have still not yet met my host. I must confess, I am anxious to conclude the business here. I feel as if some dark and terrible thing lives in this ancient place. I still have the memory of your face saying goodbye at the station to comfort me. But just uh, <laughs> go some way to comforting the feeling that I am being watched again. I bid you oh. welcome, Mr. Hart, to my house. I am Dracula. <laughs> your pardon, sir? Uh, my lord, your grace. You may call me cow. Papers for me. Uh, yes, sir. List of properties for sale, purchase deeds, everything you ask. Oh, good. I will sign these. Then all is ready. But my friend, I neglect my duties. You must refresh yourself. Please do so. Yes, I. I think a shave would be a good idea. Then I shall leave you, my friend. The word, this castle is old, and in some places unsafe. Do not leave this room. Of course, your neck. Well, this is a present from a peasant woman. Do you like it? Please, hide away such badges of superstition. They have no place in my home. Take off that cross and hide it. Of course, Count. I meant no offense. My darling Mina, I have only been at Castle Dracula for a short time now, but already my nerves are on edge. This is a horrible place. At night, the howling of wolves keeps me from sleep. I never see my host by day. He only comes to me at night, and even then he does not eat nor drink, and he is gone before the moon rises. He returns later, though. Chained. His eyes red. I'm told to be home again. Why can't 
can't I leave? I have done everything you asked. Soon, my friends. Soon. But why not now? There is so much more for you to see here. I just want to leave. No, no, you cannot leave here. Goodbye. I will leave. I will find a way. If only all these people were blocking the exits. Why is it so dark in here? I will find a way out. Hello. Do you think I've been in this room before? I, uh, I should be. We were up rather dizzy. Tired, perhaps. Maybe I'll, uh... <laughs> Just go be sit down here. Maybe a nap for a minute or two. Give me, madam. I, I must have nodded off there for a moment. Can I help? You are so young <laughs> and strong. Kiss me. Some sort of local custom, perhaps. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm a married man. Well, nearly. <laughs> Just one. Kiss. That is all I ask. Just one, I suppose. No, it must be real. Like that, it sounds so tempting. Your eyes are so dark, so deep, so beautiful. Stop! Stop! Right, he is forbidden to you. He is mine until I say he is not. But I am so hungry. Am I to have nothing to eat? I'm sure I can find you something tasty nearby. <laughs> Leave us! I, I think I've left some dinner in my you room. You fool! I... She's vampire like me, undead. You have watched me go out at night. Did you not run away? No, not really. I went out to feast on peasant blood. But now you have helped me find a new source of food. In England! What do you mean? For weeks now, I have had my servants fill boxes like this with soil from my castle to be sent to England. They will be placed in the properties you have bought for me. The boxes are booked upon a ship, the Demeter, from Varna to Whitby. I do not understand. This is how I will travel. Safe in my coffin in England. There I will begin again. Feast. On the blood of the people there. I will create a new race of vampire to serve me. And it is all thanks to you. You fiend! You cannot stop me. Your young blood shall feed my bride, and you shall be her servant. Come on. Thank you, my young friend. I have saved our box for you. I must leave you now. But you will not be lonely. And you, his friends, do not think you can save him. You two are trapped in my castle. And my bride is very, very hungry. Farewell. Because you're not a good husband. <laughs> I write to you in the darkness with what I fear will be my final word. <laughs> Count Dracula has at last revealed his plan to me. He is no ordinary man, but a blood-sucking vampire. An undead hell fiend who wishes to enslave the entire world. I cannot stop him, as I'm trapped. Trapped with no hope of escape. And a fate worse than death awaits me. <laughs>
How did you find me? Ah, yes. <laughs> we want to castle Dracula by day. We see many boxes living, and today Dracula's carriage leave, but no you. So I climb up the walls of the castle and it's through the window to find you to free. Of Dracula beat you? No, definitely not. Good. Then you must get out of here. You must return to England. Your friends are in great danger. Do you understand? Yes, I know. It is daylight. So there will be no walls. But you must hurry. Please, you must hurry. Hurry! He's crazy. He's crazy. Get your back on. You get back on. Get back on. Right. It is time for us to leave this place. We must all try carefully to escape from the vampires, and it will be difficult, especially as there's absolutely loads of us all leaving at the same time. <laughs> so, I... my husband is living with me. I've never heard anything so ridiculous. Besides, it's only my fiance. Is he? Yes, I hope so. Has it, madam, can I ask you to this side for me? Thank you. That's it. Get right in the plenty of space here. Do you come and sit down? How lovely. That was a bit more or less over there, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Now, I was just in the middle of writing in my journal. I hope you won't think of me too rude if I continue for a moment. Dear diary, yeah. so washed overboard, all except the ship's captain, who had tied himself to the ship's wheel, where he had died. Such a terrible tragedy. The only the ship was carrying the boxes of soil and the only survivor of the voyage was a black dog who leapt from the ship as it struck the beach and ran off into witch me poor creature's not been seen since so he must be terrified oh my jonathan's letters when they arrive seem to be full of strange worries and fears he seems to be scared about something but he does not tell me what. Oh, it's Peter Henley. Oh. oh, Dr. Jack, how are you? Oh, very well, and you? Yes, fine, thank you. I just wanted to inquire, is there any word from Jonathan? No, no, not a word. He wrote so often, and now nothing. It's been weeks of... Oh, Jack, I'm terribly worried. Oh, I'm sure he's all right. Uh, no news is good news, so they say. Yes. Yes, oh, you're such a good friend. <laughs> I was very sorry to hear your news, Jack. What's that? Oh, oh you know. Lucy decided to marry Lord Arthur over you. Oh, yes, that. Uh, thanks for reminding me. Pleasure. <laughs> well, you know, all's fair in love and war, and he really is a great... Ah, person. Jack, when I got your letter, I came straight away by train. There is something strange here. The story of the storm and the ghost ship and... Ah, forgive me, my lady. I, I haven't introduced myself. Professor Abraham Van Helsing. Oh, Professor Van Helsing. Jack speaks very highly of you. Uh, my name is Miss Mina. Ah, Miss Mina, who is to marry Jack's friend, who is in Transylvania. Yes, Jonathan Harker, that's right. Oh, but how did you know? Our friend Jack and I, we write often. He tells me of his friends and their adventures. Uh, but, but tell me, you have letters from your Jonathan. Yes. Right. Or rather, I did. He's not written now for some time. Uh, and in his letters, all is well with him? rather no. Well, he seems to be worried and scared about something, but he does not tell me what. Oh, I'm sure it is nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, Professor. I'm glad you think so. Oh, oh heavens. I've completely forgotten. I'm supposed to be having tea with Miss Lucy. Gentlemen, please excuse me. <laughs> Good day to you both. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Tell me the ship, the Demeter, driven ashore, the, the crew vanished, the, the captain tied to the wheel dead, and the, and the dog which ran off. Yes, terrible tragedy. More than you think. And on the ship, boxes of soil. Odd, is it not? Why odd? Well, why bring soil all the way from the east to England? 
where already there is much soil. I have no idea, Professor. And on the ship, the captain, <coughs> tied to the wheel and dead. But how? Yes, now that was very strange. There was not a mark upon his body apart from two tiny holes in his neck. So this you did not tell me before. It is as I feared. There is a great danger come to Whitby. Then, Jack, I need your help. Go and find out what has happened to those boxes of soil. Boxes of soil? Yes, yes, quickly, quickly, right. before it's too late. First fears of... Ah, my friends and students. <laughs> now, if you're here, then I'm imagining that you must have escaped from Transylvania. Please answer my questions. Did you go, as I instructed you to, and yes. follow Jonathan Harker? Yes! yes. You did. So, did you go to Transylvania? Yes! yes. yes. Oh. Have you actually been to Castle Dracula? Yes! yes. We saw Dracula! You've seen Dracula? Yes! yes. And the wife! Yes. And the wife! So you've seen Dracula? And the wife! And the wife! What did Dracula look like? He's got red glasses. He's got red glasses. He's got red glasses. He's got glasses. He's got black cake. He doesn't have any fangs, and he's got red glasses and a black, what do you say, a black cape? And he's got a black tail coat. A tail, oh, a tail coat. He's got a bright tail coat. With like and points. With points on his, on his collars. Yeah. And black trousers, you said, didn't you? Yeah. Did he see you all? Yeah. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> So, so young and in love. Um, do I have the pleasure of addressing um, Lord Arthur Helmwood and his fiancée, uh, Miss Lucy? Indeed you do, sir. <laughs> and who might you be? <laughs> uh, Professor Abraham Van Helsing. Oh, Professor Van Helsing. You're the chap who believes in those strange, blood-sucking creatures, aren't you? <laughs> Bankers? What? <laughs> no, no, dear, no, it's a strange word. Creatures who feed off the living. Yes, bankers! <laughs> no, dear, no. I've completely forgotten the word now. Uh, it's vampires. Called... What? What that vampires. Vampires. Vampires, oh yes, that's it. Uh, but, but my dears, I, uh, I, I disturb you as you walk. Not at all, we were just having a stroll, taking in the evening air. Ooh. Maybe you'd like to join us. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Don't say that. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, oh, no, I've got, I've got so much work to do. Um, uh, please forgive me if I don't. No, no, quite. Of course we understand, don't you, dear? <laughs> but you must talk in for tea sometimes. Oh, yes, I'd love to. <laughs> well, uh, a good day, then. Well, soon enough, my love. But all our friends will be there to see us married. Oh. Speaking of our friends, our wild American friend, Quincy Morris, is due to arrive by train. We should go and meet him. No, 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 you go ahead, dear. I'm going to stay here and write in my journal and plan for our special day. I don't know, you and your friends always scribbling away in journals. <laughs> well, very well, stay here if you wish, but uh, don't linger too long. It'll be dark soon, and I don't want you to catch a cold. No. Now, I'll go and fetch Quincy, yes. and when I've found him, I'll send him to bring you back. Good idea, my love. See you soon. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. <laughs> Dear diary, what a day it has been. You cannot believe that I am to be married. Poor dear Jack could not hide his disappointment, and I'm sure Quincy will be just as sad. But I am very happy. <laughs> the funniest thing happened to me last night. I woke with a strong feeling that I was being watched. So I went over to my window, and I looked out. And there, staring up at me, was a black dog with big red eyes. Not that I don't think. I've just...
just arrived after a long journey. My name, Dracula. Well, I have a friend staying at Castle Dracula. Perhaps you know him, Steve. I am uh, very sorry, but I am very tired. And Hank. You! Then you must pop in for tea sometimes. I don't.
students, we all know what must happen to poor dead Miss Lucy. She has been attacked by a vampire. Mm, you're telling me, Lucy's bitten up her. And, and she will turn into a vampire herself very soon. Leave your fear behind now and accompany me to the graveyard. This way. Lucy? Lucy? Is that you? I do feel a little left out. 